Okay, um, I'm hoping that my audio is okay. Um, I'm a little concerned about it. The thing is, I recorded my laptop, so um, it has a very loud fan. And I'm hoping that that doesn't get picked up, and I'm also hoping that the game audio doesn't get picked up too much. But I'm trying to adjust this so my, my um... Okay, that's muted. Alright, well, this is somewhat loud. Um, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're playing fucking God of War. The original. Um, everything seems to be leading to me playing this game. Uh, the new one just came out, obviously, and the fucking, uh... We're gonna be playing on Spartan mode. Um, I'll just shut up for the cutscene. The gods of Olympus have abandoned. So actually, most of these cutscenes are, uh... The original, they didn't remake a lot of these. Now there is no hope. And Kratos, and Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten, After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. So yeah, the original game begins with him killing himself. <laughs> but it had not always been Three weeks earlier. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Oh, beast, I will send you back to the depths of Hades. All right, like I, like I said, uh, also the uh, the letterbox mode actually appears in the original game, at least in these remakes. So I'm kind of surprised about that. Um. Uh, the, uh, what was I fucking gonna say? I was gonna say something. Well, that didn't go as I planned. Um. Shit, I've already forgotten. Oh, the original, so this, I'm playing the, um, remastered versions. Which means that, um, all the graphics are updated. This is the PS3 version, because apparently they didn't make a, um, PS4 remaster of the originals, it's just PS3. Uh, so, they updated all of the in game visuals, but a lot of the cutscenes are not redone at all. They didn't do anything to them. Simply, uh, it's the original PS2, so if, if it looks off a bit in the cutscenes, um, that's why. It looks a lot better in game. Also, the, the, I mean, for the PS2, these games looked fucking amazing anyways. The God of War games always looked really good for the time. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to say this is that far off. Obviously, it's HD 720p. The originals would have been 480i, depending on if you were using composite or component cable. Um, I don't know how common that information is. Um, or well known. But, uh... Yeah, so I I um so I was playing the obviously God of War 2018. I've I've been playing more of it on my own. Um, so I played oh shit. I so there's the fucking Hydra. So I played the um I've almost finished it at this point, but uh, there's still a little bit left for me to do. I have mixed feelings about it. I like some of it and I hate some of it, so it's 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 an interesting dichotomy I have with that game. Um, I'm not sure what my... I think it's a good game. It's like a good game, but it's like... It conflicts with my feelings of what I want out of a God of War game, I guess. So that's essentially... Uh, fuck. What we're dealing with there. Um, also, I'm in a, in a book club, I guess. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm aware, I know. I, 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 I ooh, almost missed that. I won't. Also, these quick time events have are, I guess, dated now. Nobody likes quick time events, or they didn't. Um. Oh, they got sick of them, I guess. Um, but God of War was like the trendsetter on quick time events. They like invented them. 
I don't want to say that, <laughs> in case that's not true. I feel like they are, though. I feel like they were the first games that I remember where quick time events were a big thing. And it was cool at the time, because it's like, you're interacting with, like, the cutscene, and you do all this crazy over-the-top shit. In the new God of War, it's like, they got rid of quick time events, I guess, because it's sort of a dated um, trope now. Nobody enjoys doing them anymore. I kind of miss them now that they're gone. Stay away! Stay away from me! I know who you are, I know who you are Spartan. I know what you've done. I would rather die than be saved. Everybody's terrified of Kratos. Nobody really likes him. You, the ghost of Sparta. Stay away! Stay away from it's me! It's interesting. They call him the ghost of Sparta. He got that name uh, as, like, after... Uh, he, well, spoilers, but he, uh, he, <laughs> should I spoil it? I don't know, everybody knows that, right? He, he, they'll say it in this game anyways, not too far from now, but he was tricked into murdering his, um, his wife and kid. Um, and then after that, he worked for, he became a servant to the gods on the hope that they would rid him of his nightmares and uh, bring his life to a bit more normal sleep. Also, there's an interesting thing, you can just murder these people. <laughs> Kratos does, does not give a, a fuck at all. He will just straight up kill anybody. He cares about almost no one. Um, actually, I wanna say that he cares about no one. <laughs> so I think it's true. Look, I can, just, I can just grab this guy. He did nothing. He's not hurting me in any way, but I can kill him if I feel like it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna format these episodes. Um, I could do... Uh, like, I obviously can't do these like I'm scared, where it's like, oh, I can easily divide this. I feel like maybe I can divide this into like five episodes or something. Alright, now we gotta fight. So we're on the Aegean Sea right now, fighting the um, Hydra. We were just on a ship. I think just by coincidence, we were taking a ship. Kratos sort of buries himself in uh, in war and battle to try to rid himself of the memories. That's just that's what he's doing right now. Um, he's uh, he's a Spartan warrior, and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, basically what he's doing. Um, so I don't exactly know why he's here. I mean, obviously, he's taking a trip somewhere, but or maybe this was one of the things that the gods wanted him to do, take care of this. Actually, that's probably the case. The gods wanted him to kill the Hydra, now that I think about it. Um, they sent him to, to take out the Hydra and uh, save these people. He doesn't care too much about actually saving these people. Well, that's not entirely the case. I don't know if it, it, how much of this I should give away. Obviously, I've played these games before, <laughs> so I know a lot of the story. Um, I might die. Playing it on hard mode... I feel like playing it on normal would be too easy, but it's probably like the best it would be the most efficient way of playing this. Um, as for like controls, how this game works, now the, the Hydra, he has one move that'll grab me, um, and a bunch of other moves that'll just hit me. So the one move that grabs me doesn't actually hurt me. Uh, it, I can just quick time event out of it. Um, it's actually kind of convenient when he does that. The other moves I cannot dodge. Or I can't, um, I can dodge, but yeah, see, that's fine. I can block or dodge them, and I have to. Uh, I can't escape damage. They won't take me into a cutscene that sort of escapes me from damage. You may notice I'm really good at this game. Or I'm, I, I, I need to get this. So God of War, uh... There's a lot of similarities. We played God of War 2018. There's a lot of similarities. Like these little boxes around, they're just like little extra little collectibles. You'll notice you can get oops. <laughs> uh 
Gorgon Eyes and Phoenix Feathers, which equate to uh, the Aegis Apple and the other thing, I forget. They do the same... No, actually they don't do the same thing, because one of them raises health, so that the Aegis Apples raise health. I think they're called Aegis Apples, um, which equate to the Gorgon Eyes in this. And then there's the um, the Phoenix Feathers actually raise magic. They don't raid, raise um, rage mode. Um, they're telling me to do this, so I can do this, and then I can grab them, or I could just like. Now a lot of these enemies are fodder, especially these uh, these these starting enemies. They're not very difficult to kill. Um, in fact, I can just gra straight up grab them and just immediately kill them like that. Um, that's kind of a can be risky, especially if there's a lot around me. Um, generally, it's not, I don't think. Um, but these are only fodder enemies. The rest of the enemies will get a lot harder. This is sort of the tutorial to teach me how to play. Um, and I'm probably just going to run through this first section really quickly. There's not much here to do, really. Well, there's a lot here to do, but I mean, it's not especially... Fuck. Okay. Also, that can happen, which is kind of annoying, and that starts me back here. Okay, uh, so I have, um, I don't forget what I was saying. Uh, fucking shit, 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 shit. Uh, was I talking about the Aegis apples or whatever? I don't know. So I'll get through these this level pretty quick. There's not, I'll shut up for this. See, this is PS2 graphics. It's you! The visions, they were real! The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! These creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed, all hope is lost, Spartan. Even for you... Yeah, so obviously the gods sent Kratos to, uh, rescue them from the Hydra. I guess rescue them. <laughs> the thing about Kratos is he doesn't, he doesn't give much of a shit about anybody. So he won't bother to help, really. Oh, I was playing this a little bit, so that's a slight spoiler. I was a little bit ahead. Um, a little bit, not much. I just wanted to remind myself how to play and everything. Um... I didn't need to kill those guys. <laughs> In fact, I can not kill them. But they give me health, so there is a benefit to just killing randos. Um, basically, he was just sent to kill the Hydra, and he doesn't obviously care that much about doing it. Uh, it's just out of a selfish desire to sort of um, rid himself of his, his, his horrid memories and whatnot. Um... So as I was saying uh, before, I was reading, so for fucking cunts, we were reading, um, I'm in like a book club, <laughs> uh, and uh, so we were reading the Iliad, and it was, it, it also sort of made me want to play the original God of War, because this is, obviously it's Greek mythology, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, nods and references to um, Greek mythology. Some of uh, some of it's accurate. Some of it's not. Um, it's sort of a mixed bag. But um, it's kind of cool. And just reading that book is like it's reminded me of like oh I know that person. Oops. I'm sort of fucking this up. Uh, fucking let me up there, you cunts. This is sort of awkward. Um, it's because they're up on these little platforms. They're not really a threat because they're bowmen and they um, don't matter much. They can only shoot me with their bows and they don't do a whole heck of a lot of damage, to be frank. Not a big deal. I can get this. It's optional. I don't really need it, but I'm gonna get it. Um, it'll get harder as we go along. Um, so Kratos, he's called the Ghost of Sparta. Find 
See, what's interesting is we want to help... See, they're having a rough time back there. Kratos does seem... He wants to help the women. He has a soft spot, I think, for women and children. Um, which is understandable, I guess. Uh, keep them out of the battle. That's sort of a common... Um, thing, I guess, for the time period, I suppose. Well, I, I don't know. It's a co common thing f for all... I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um. So, he doesn't care about the men. He, I guess he, is, uh, he thinks of a lot of them as cowards. They are really very cowardice. I mean, they don't stand a chance against the Hydra. I mean, Kratos right now, he has no powers or anything. He's just a super skilled warrior. Uh, so, you know, there's... He's not... If you played... Well, I don't want to... See, if I say this, I'll be spoiling this game in case someone's like, doesn't want spoilers for... Yeah, I don't, I don't know, uh -huh. whatever. Um, these guys are not the uh, Druger that are in God of War 2018. They're not the same. Um, they are... Um, I don't know. What the fuck are they? They are something. I actually don't know. <laughs> don't know off the top of the head. They might be from Hades. But I feel like Hades isn't really... He's one of the... There's no reason to go out here, is there? I don't think there's any reason to go out there. Uh, one of the cool things about God of War is, like, the, the set pieces. Like, the way they set up everything and the cinematic nature of it. Like, they set up this shot here. You can see the boat over there where we're gonna just fly to. Um, one of the big things people, I guess, are praising about the new one is that it's one shot. This is s mostly one sh shot, I guess. During the cutscenes, I guess it cuts away and then starts the cutscene because it's rendered in a different... They're, they're FMV videos. They're not um, actually an engine, as cutscenes are wont to do today. Alright, those are first organized. So we get five of those, and we, or six of those, and we get a um, our bar up. So there's a lot of similarities to the to the new one, um, but there's a lot of differences. I haven't even talked much about the combat. We're gonna talk to Poseidon here. So this is Poseidon. Lord Poseidon, Kratos, before you reach Athens. There is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, it has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable, but you will need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Okay, well now he has the power of the gods, so... We've got Poseidon's rage. Gods, Kratos, go forth in the name of Olympus. All right, so I guess we weren't. We were sent here by Athena, probably on the way to Athens. But I think she has like a little cutscene after this where she's like, "Okay, that's not. That's not good. I can use Poseidon's rage. It it won't help too terribly much, but I'll do it." Um. Ow. They do, um, um, fuck, what's the word? Uh, um, I forget what the word is for showing that they're about to attack. Um, they do that kind of weirdly. Um, I'm gonna save at every checkpoint. They're just checkpoints. Um, they don't. I guess it doesn't really matter if I save or not. Uh, now, in God of War 2018, even the um, hard hard modes, they actually, if you die, I think it actually gives you full health back. I'm not entirely sure on that.
this is just the this is the classic thing about God of War is these huge fucking monsters you've got to fight. They're just larger than like any other game. I think doesn't really have the scale that God of War has. Um. Um. But yeah. Uh. Like I was saying, uh, so God of War 2018. I think if you die, it actually gives you full health back. I'm uh, not 100% on that, but this game does not. It does not do that. So if I die, I'll respawn with exactly as much health as I started uh, with the, the checkpoint at. Um, which will make things difficult if I start a tough battle with low health. But generally, there's enough health and health packs and stuff around to um, that it won't be a problem. Um, I haven't even talked about like the combat yet. I'm just sort of doing all this uh it's 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 fun it's fast paced it's basically a hack and slash like devil may cry or bayonetta or something like that um there's two attacks there's a um there's the quick attack which is square and then there's the triangle which is a heavy attack so see i was wondering about this at when I was playing the new one, because it's R1 and R2 for some reason to do attacks. And I was like, is that the way? Was it always like that? And it's not. It's not. So, like, my instinct was to go do, like, square and triangle, and then, uh, like, X to jump, and something else, I forget. Um, but, uh, that was my instinct, and it was, like, really weird. And, uh, left shield, that's the same. Um, but to roll away, it's actually the directional stick. Uh, so you roll, yeah, you roll in the direction, you press the right directional stick in. Um, and I'm just gonna wail on this Hydra right now. I'm only gonna use, uh, quick attacks because it's a little too risky to use the heavy attacks right now. Just because I have to be able to block every time he does this little bite. Um, it's not too difficult. They telegraph. They telegraph it. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Really. They telegraph it really easily to see. And you'll notice that. That's just good game design. That's just how they do it. It's like, you gotta telegraph the attack so you're ready to block it and everything. Um, now I'll get more moves the farther I get in the game. Um, so you'll get like a, a, a sort of air attack. You'll get a bunch of stuff, and I have to upgrade my um, my blades here to actually do that. Um, but the upgrade system is a lot more streamlined than in the in in the new game, because <clears throat> you can upgrade magic, you can upgrade your weapons, and that's it. Um, there's no like to get new skills, you just upgrade your your weapon. And that'll give you new, like, combos to do. So now I gotta take on the big head. The big head's actually a little bit harder. Uh, he's gonna go right. Okay, he's gonna attack middle. Fuck. I'm gonna fall. This battle's not the easiest. It's actually not that bad. Um. It's a little weird. And... I think the reason I'm just doing this stuff, like, when I played this before, I, like, had to figure out this, like, when I was getting ready to play this again, I had to figure it all out again. So, I just know all this stuff now, so it's really easy. Um, but, you know, when we get to the bosses, I don't remember as well, it'll get harder. Uh, so, or, or maybe I'm just looking, making it look easy. It's probably not <laughs> as easy as it... If you've never played God of War before, I guess it's 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 a, it might be weird to get used to. Um, it, it it can be a bit of a button masher, um, but a lot of it is strategic approach and how you. Oops, I almost fucked that up. See, I'm not getting hit right now, which is important. If I was getting hit, I'd be losing health pretty fast. Ow, like that. Yeah, see, <laughs> that took out what like a third of my health. But, uh, from hitting him, I actually get... Oh shit. Okay, yeah, I need to grab him. Alright, quick time event. Oh, no, I have to do this. Alright. So, like it was, uh... What the fuck? You, you grab onto the thing, you... 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 
You, you. Hey, you little wiener. Oh, you little weenie. So Poseidon actually didn't send us. So I was going to say, um, it seems like Athena sent us here on the way to Athens because she wants us to... Well, she'll tell us later. Um, but, uh, yeah, Poseidon's like, hey, can you uh, kill the Hydra while you're here? So, yeah, that's that's the deal. We weren't actually sent here to kill the Hydra. We just happened to be doing it since we're here. <clears throat> we have other things in mind. Um, and, yeah, I think I've run out of... <laughs> Things to say already. Um, so this guy will take a little doing, um, but we'll 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 get through it. We'll get through it, boys. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Um, oh, this is not the. Um, so I don't know. So there's like six games in the French. Technically seven. Fuck a jump. That's why I fell. <clears throat> Technically seven games, because there was like a mobile game, but that's canon. Um, God of War 1 is actually not chronologically first. There are two prequels to it that exist, but they both came out after, obviously. Um, Chains of Olympus and Ascension are both before this. Um, and Chains of Olympus is... So, somewhere between or during Chains of Olympus, we become known as the Ghost of Sparta. Um, so, it's a relatively new title that Kratos got. Uh, he was not known as that prior to Chains of Olympus or prior to Ascension. Ascension is actually chronologically the first game in the series. Um, sadly, I don't think that game did very well. Uh, it may also seem like this boss is uh, unkillable, that his health keeps recharging, but it is actually not the case. We are making progress on the boss. Okay, that's just unfair. It may not look like it, but we are. Uh, so there's two um, things you can do here. So there's dodge and block. Um, block is not going to do much good against this guy just because he's so big. Dodge is my best friend. Whoops. And, uh, it's an art. It's a bit of an art. It's something you gotta get used to. There is actually a, a difficulty above this. We can't... You have to unlock it, which is interesting. A lot of the old games used to do that, where you had to unlock the difficulties. They still do that today, I guess, with some games. Like, Evil Within, I think, has an unlockable difficulty. Ooh, that was the wrong direction. Um... Nowadays, they just kind of give you the hardest difficulty, so you can just... Ow, I don't know what I was thinking there. We should be getting close here. No! Oh, baby! See, this guy's fucking huge and scary. And that's what they start you off with. They start they start this game off with a bang, right into the action. Right into the action. No, no messing around. Um, and I kind of love that. I got fucked. Alright, I don't want to lose this, because that would suck, because I'd have to do the whole thing over. Oh, wrong direction. Shit. Come on. Give me this. 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 Come on. Give me this. I can't. I can't lose this. We're getting there. It might actually be better to do the fucking... Um, heavy attacks, but I just don't want to. Okay, there we go. So now we do this. don't want to screw that up. And there we go. Straight to FMV.
And uh, there you have it. That's the Hydra dead. Fuck the Hydra, dude. So yeah, in uh, Greek Greek lore, uh, Kratos killed the Hydra. Oh, I have to go... I forgot. This is kind of a cool little thing. You go inside the Hydra. I love this. Kratos is just like... Thank you! Thank the gods you came back for me! I didn't come back for you. No! Like, Jesus Christ, man. That's just, that's... This, this is the character, so... I think... I, I think with that, like, I, I don't know if... Maybe people will understand a little bit more where I'm coming from, where it's kind of silly to, like, to be like, you know what this guy needs? He needs a... We should give him a kid, and he'll be very sympathetic. And <laughs> like, Kratos doesn't give a fuck. He could have saved that guy, but he does not care. He cares not at all. And it's possible that from, um... Like, from what I'm reading in the Iliad, it's like... Um, there's a big emphasis on, like, pride and honor. That guy was kind of a coward. I guess you could be describe him as a coward, so Kratos is like... He's not worth saving. Like, who gives a fuck? I don't care. But he does... He does have a weird soft spot for, like, women and children for some reason, and not... Men. At all. He cares not at all for men. He'll kill anybody <clears throat> and everybody like there was I don't know he's 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 just kind of a psychopath really I mean right now he's tormented by his his memories so he's sort of a he, he's in a bad way here he does not he care he's, he's very selfish at the moment he cares a lot about fixing his his um his, uh, I don't know what to call it. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a lot of throwing attacks here just to. Just because I can lodge them at other people. And I wanna get rid of these archers because they'll just do little bits of damage against me. Fuck. I was waiting for that other so slow. Ow, okay. Alright, sure. Jesus Christ. Alright. I need to just move out of there. Oh my god, they're so fucking slow, dude. Fuck that guy. Okay. Okay, just die, please, thank you. Goodbye. So if I had left that health thing here, I could have actually come back for that. It doesn't matter, I don't really need it at this point. Um, see, we're gonna go back and save these, these women here. Which is interesting. They didn't care about saving that dude, but he'll go and save these these women here. Obviously they're all dead though. Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past. A past he could never escape. I guess that's why. That makes sense. His only solace was the sea. Endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next, in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested within. Ooh. For no matter how much wine he uh -oh. consumed, or how many women he took uh -oh. to his bed, nothing on earth could rid him of the horrors that plagued his mind. Athena! Tis the 
ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city form. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task. And the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. <laughs>